This is Broke Pen, my free to play account. Last week, I got a huge win streak and Mega Pig rewards. And this week, I got four legendary star drops and 1500 trophies. And here's how I did it. If you want to be a part of future videos, join my Discord server here. On the first day of week three, I decided to set some smaller goals, with the first one being reaching 4250 trophies. After examining the quest, I chose Penny to take on Ring of Fire. Earlier, I also had the chance to select Penny's star power from the daily gift, which was incredibly fortunate. I opted for heavy coffers as it allowed Penny to confront assassins with her salty barrel. With all these upgrades in my arsenal, I felt like I could get Penny to 300 on this map, so I went for it. The initial games were a walk in the park, and I secured numerous kills with significant damage. The first time, I got 7 kills, and the second? I got 12, and surprisingly on the third, I got another 10 kills. I was performing exceptionally well, and then I had a challenging game, all thanks to my teammate El Chicharito. <sighs> this M's just kept walking in a straight line and fed my opponents. Despite putting in my blood and sweat into this match, I emerged unsuccessful. At this point though, losses, they don't feel as bad, but they did slow down the progress towards the trophy goal. I lost another game as well and realized that players at this level didn't know how to maintain their distance against an M's. Ultimately though, I got back into the stride with Penny and after racking up a few more wins, she reached 300. The next brawler I aimed for was Shelly. And honestly, I didn't expect it to be as painful an experience. The first game was rather easy, facing a Daryl as an opponent. In the next game, my own Frank wanted to take up that task. I swear, I think that this is Chicharito's ult because the dude did the exact same thing. He kept walking up and kept dying, beating the other team, and my B didn't help much either. I somehow managed to pull off a miracle and scored a goal, but it was ultimately all in vain. But it didn't stop there. Please, do something. Kill, kill, kill. No, no, no. And I continued on a string of losses, Pass the ball. which literally made me rage quit Shelly for that day. <laughs> what? At that point, I thought that since I didn't have much to lose, I finished off that day with Bull, and honestly, it was a ton of fun. I had some great rushes and opened up a lot of room for my teammates to score, but I also made some dumb mistakes, which cost me my 4250 game. After a few more minutes, I was able to try again, and this time, I got the dub. And I even witnessed this cool glitch with the 8-bit gadget. Today, I received 25 power points from a rare star drop on the trophy road, and I got it again from the free pass. I also obtained some credits, and Mortis seems ever closer. I started day 16 with these two penny pins from the daily gift, and I felt like reaching another 250 trophies that day. So, after a quick once over at the quest, I opted for Frank and upgraded him to power 7 for a little oomph. But before that, if you love this sort of content and want early access to it, become a channel member today as it will help me a lot in terms of producing more content such as this for you. Similar to Shelly yesterday, this one didn't seem to be it. Right off the bat, I had some awful matchups and I struggled against every single brawler on the other team. And I even got my ankles broken. There was a glimmer of hope. But once we got to overtime, Terra timed an amazing gravity, and that was it. In another game, my Daryl teammate decided to BM on the opposing side for some reason and passed the ball back, so I decided to throw on purpose for the other team. At this point, I decided to rage quit Frank, and it's not looking good this week. To change up the pace, I went with Bull, and 200 trophies on him seemed doable. The games were actually pretty good for my team and me, and I quickly progressed to 4,300 trophies. After a few more dubs, I got to the 200 trophy Bull game, and that was a breeze too. I had one more gem grab game to finish off a quest, and I got this annoying 100% loading glitch, and I was so afraid that I lost, but luckily, after I got back into it, we didn't let up on the pressure and got this dub as well. 
I hop back on Frank since Mama didn't raise a quitter. I started with some confidence since I wasn't winning for him with my bull, and after a few minutes I got to my 200 trophy game which was slightly challenging. There was an instance where the enemy primo was about to score, but luckily I managed to get a stun off and we proceeded to cop the dub. After this I had a series of great games and I stunned a lot of enemies in their tracks, and that was pretty satisfying. Within a couple more I managed to get to 4400 trophies. Truthfully, none of the remaining games with Frank were all that challenging, but I did cop 750 coins from the Frank Mastery Road and even got to 300 trophies on the Undead Bozo. Unfortunately, I couldn't hit my goal that day as Brawl Stars was going into game maintenance, but I did manage to get these. 100 power points from the Trophy Road, 500 XP doublers from an epic star drop, 10 gems, and a Poco Happy Pin from another epic star drop. Not much progression that day, but we move. Day 17 marked the final day of the daily gift where I could choose one free epic brawler. I opted for Griff because I loved his cashback super, but I think I'm gonna regret it. I decided to take it a little slow, pushing the 4600 trophies, and here's how I did it. After checking my daily quest, it seemed like now was as good a time as any to push Nita. I really like this brawler and I love the amount of progression that she brings in the field. Within a few minutes, I managed to get Nita up to 150 trophies as she proved to be a bit overpowered for this trophy range. I also unlocked Power League, but since there's no progression from it, I am probably going to skip playing this mode. <laughs> Next, I decided to bring out Shelly. Honestly, I was apprehensive about this since I had the worst time with her on day 15. Please, do something. Kill, kill, kill. No, no, no. First game was difficult because of the Lola on the opposing side, but my team had to completely max out Charlie, making it possible for us to get the dub. I got a bit bolder with Shelly, but honestly, that was premature, as that's when I started getting hammered by the opposition. I faced a double tank max comp, and despite all my firepower, Jackie and Rosa had way too much HP for me, and my dynamics were completely hopeless. In the next one, my teammates were probably the worst ones that I've had to date as they kept giving up a lot of space and would probably miss my belly point blank if given the chance. After these strings of losses, I decided that I needed to focus a bit more. I played carefully and honestly, the wind started rolling in. After a little bit, I managed to finish my 5 wins with Shelly. For all that hard work, and we know it was hard, I could finally unlock my last star drop from the day. And this is what happened! Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, legendary. Oh my god! Chuck, let's go! Oh my god! Chuck, mythic brawler Chuck threw a legendary star drop. Okay, this is amazing. <laughs> Now with two new brawlers, I changed my goal to 4750 trophies from 4600. I brought out Griff and I hated it. He was underwhelming without his star power and the fact that he was only power one just let opponents completely ride roughshod over me. But I did have this funny moment where the opposing Jeet and I were playing volleyball with the brawl instead, so that was pretty funny. For my 100 trophy game, I honestly didn't help my team all that much, but we did get underdog. That gave me 17 trophies. I moved on to Chuck and I upgraded him to power four right off the bat. Honestly, I only enjoyed playing Chuck on Heist since I felt that he was way too gimmicky a brawler and I was way too lazy to figure out his best post placement. I chugged along and within a couple of minutes Chuck got a hundred cup but more importantly I got to 4750 which was huge and you'll see why soon. For my rewards today I got thousand coins from the free pass and I even got Viking Bull from a legendary star drop. Super rare? Epic? Le legend Legendary again? That's awesome! Please, another brawler? Another brawler? That's two today, which I've never got on any account. And from the trophy road, I got 500 credits, which allowed me to unlock Mortis as well. Three new brawlers in one day. Let's go! On day 18, I noticed that I had the Star 2 challenge, and apparently completing it grants you a legendary star drop. But that's not all. You get eight other random star drops, so I decided to finish those today. 
I started off with Dino since I had a quest to do on him, and the first game was rather uninteresting. Except I lied. The enemy Dynamite, named after my favorite band The Strokes, had a nice moment where he got his team the reset, and it did seem a bit sketchy, but the dove was inevitable, and I received 25 power points from a rare star drop. The second game was straightforward, and I got 100 XP doublers from a rare star drop. The third had me a bit nervous, as the other team had an Edgar and a Kit, but it went over quite quite well, and it even got a tick spray from an epic star drop. Game number 4 was amazing. I still don't know how I managed to survive against this Carl, and I even got a ton of value with my hypercharge, and for my troubles I received 200 coins from an epic star drop. The fifth game was my last one with dynamite, and it went by pretty easily. I got 200 power points from a mythic star drop, which was a daily one by the way, and another 100 coins from a super rare star drop. Next, I took Brock as he is really really great on Bell's Rock, and with this dub, I got 50 coins from another rare star drop. For the next 3 matches, I went with Bo as he is really great on this map, and with his stun mines, he can pack a wall up against enemies. Game 7 was slightly challenging because of the amount of damage 8-bit and tick dished out, but with the mines, you were Gucci, and I was rewarded with 50 power points from a super rare star drop. The 8-1 also went by similarly, I had a lot of stuns and the tripwire gadget worked out amazingly. I even met is a triple stun which is awesome. I got 100 SP doublers from a rare star drop for this one. The last game had me a bit nervous. One look at the teams and it felt like there was a huge gap in experience, but at least that's how it seemed on paper. My surge teammate did amazingly well and then there was Christy. For completing this challenge, we get a legendary star drop, and from that I got cold star power slick boots, which was awesome since I don't have to spend 2000 coins for that anymore. Additionally, I got 10 gems and 100 coins from a super rare star drop for my rewards at the end of the day. On the 19th day of this account, I decided that I wanted to make some more progress on the trophy road. Getting to 5000 trophies was the goal as I hadn't really pushed the previous day, and you also got a mythic star drop for getting to this milestone, which I was hungry for. Anyway, I took Frank out since I had a 15 kill quest and right off the bat, I faced a Dinah and a Shelly, which I usually do horrendously against. Luckily though, they weren't as experienced and with a few well-timed stuns and a cheeky goal, I got the dub. The next game also had some very hard counters, but in this one I confirmed 9 kills and finished off the quest and honestly, I think that one deserves a sub. I brought up Brock next and I've had the worst time with this brawler and today wasn't any different. The next few games went without any real incident and it was just pure domination. But in my last game with Brock, I did have some scary moments with a primo almost getting too close for comfort, but I finished his quests as well. Next I brought out the Griff as I wanted to get him to 150, but today was definitely a rough day. And I faced so many losses. First, I faced a Maisie who kept ripping through my team. At this point, I severely regretted taking Griff. I was power 1, but I kept getting 2-3 to three tab by the opposing team. And honestly, you needed to be in the fray to get any value out of his super. The map was terrible, and so were my randoms, and I was so low that my gameplay was also horrible. It took me a whole 30 minutes to get Griff to the goal. Next, I took Nita, as it's a brother that I love to play, and I'm usually confident that I can do pretty good with her. And that's what I did. I kept chaining bears, and games went by pretty fast. In a couple of minutes, I managed to get Nita to 150, but also to 4,900 trophies on the account. And after a few more wins, I got to my 200 Nita game, which was also quite simple. After I was done with Nita, I had a couple more games that I needed to win, and I felt like taking Dynamite. With his satchel charge, the miner did quite a lot of work, and I did have some issues with Amortis on the other team, but the wins were more or less guaranteed. My last game of 5000 had me face a Jackie with her hyper charge. I was anxious at this point, and if I didn't keep my distance, not only would I be dead, my entire team would be as well. I played carefully and got some really good stuns, and that was enough to get me to the goal for that day. From the free pass, I earned 1000 coins and 25 power points from a rare star drop. And from the trophy road, I got 200 XP doublers from a rare star drop. And for getting the 5000 trophies, I was rewarded with a mythic star drop from which I got a B clapping pin, which... Uh, 
I honestly wanted something better. On the penultimate day, I had to finish my weekend quest, and I wanted to get to 5250 trophies as well. Since gold was power 11, it was a cheat code to finish these Robo Rumble quests, and honestly, these games went by without any real issues. Next, I took dynamite, and I missed so many shots, and my teammates were as bad, resulting in my first loss of the day. The next game was pretty difficult, as the quality of my teammates didn't get any better. The Edgar on my team made it his mission to push the air as much as possible! I got a clutch triple stun that allowed us to get a goal, but in the very next play, our Edgar did this. No! Anyway, I still needed a couple more kills on Dinah to finish my active quest, and the last game was pretty fast as it wasn't a bot lobby because we lost the last one because of the Edgar. I unlocked Mortis a couple of days ago and wanted to bring him out, but I decided to upgrade him to Power 6 first. Most of my games were pretty decent as I was able to chain my bats pretty effectively. I did have this one game that was pretty hilarious to me. I did almost nothing here and I even stole the ball from my teammates to get a goal. When I say I did nothing, I meant it. A few games later, I ended up missing a goal to try and charge my super. <laughs> With this win, I got my Mortis to 100. On my 150 trophy game, I lost again, surprise. But this one was really on me. I didn't chain my supers as well as I could have, and that's what I get for it. I did, however, get to 150 in my next game. Since Heist was open, I brought out Chuck since he's really great in that mode. With the right post placement, you could be a menace and some games went really great. Others were a tad terrible as randoms kept feeding the enemies. And sometimes I panicked and lost my post placement, but ultimately I managed to get my Chuck to 200 trophies. I had a 5 win mission with Frank and with how these matches have gone so far, I was super apprehensive about it. And realistically, the games were slightly challenging, but I was able to get some good wall breaks and a lot of stuns. But I also made some terrible plays, terrible, and broke some ankles too. I absolutely terrorized the spike and stunned him repeatedly, much to his chagrin. But Frank, at the end of the day, was just so much fun to play. I collected my rewards for the day, and from the trophy road, I was awarded 200 coins and 25 power points from a rare star drop. And from the free pass, I got 100 credits, 100 XP doublers from a rare star drop, and 1000 coins as well. On the final day of week 3, I decided that I wanted to reach a nice and round number, and I think that 5500 looks perfect. And there is something else to get at the end of this week. I picked up B since I had a 9 enemy kill quest, and I thought she'd fare decently well on Hard Rock Mine. Game 1 taught me that I'm always wrong, as I faced a Power 9 Piper along with a Frank and the combination of the Deadly Sniper with that zombified sponge put my head in a tailspin. The general theme for this series is that my teammates want to make me cry all night. Luckily, the next couple of games were easy peasy as I kept sniping opponents and even got a ton of kills. Brock was next on the docket as the map was Gold Arm Gulch, and I think he's pretty decent here. In my first game, I got 4 kills and even got my Brock to 200 trophies. And in the second, I confirmed 5 kills as well. And in both these games, I had a round where I got all 3 kills in that round. But good things don't last, and the next one was a terrible loss. I still can't figure out why my Colette walked backward into me, and how did I get one shot by that squeak? Don't answer that. Next, it was time for my favorite pirate to take center stage, and I even got 750 coins from her mastery to boot. 100,000 damage was the quest requirement, and Penny got it done in two straight games. She did around 60,000 in the first, and 45,000 in the second, which was insane. I thought I get Terra to 200 next, and right at the gates, I had another impossible game due to randoms. Who would have guessed? And at this point, I wanted to throw my iPad so hard against the wall. I soldiered on and was blessed with some decent teammates, especially this M's Stefan. And soon, I hit a cumulative of 5,400 trophies. I swapped back to Penny since I felt like I could do the rest of the games here. And honestly, they were going great till I had this one teammate, Dylan, the Jackie. And this guy missed an open goal because he was BMing? 
It was literally such an important goal to get since we were facing a team with a hypercharged Edgar. With this difference in level, my shots were barely tickling the Edgar. There was zero counterplay against this dude, but somehow the Colette and I pulled through. After that, I was so triggered that I needed something fun and easy, so I picked up Colt to cap this week off, and honestly, I can say that it was so much fun. I kept beaming opponents and unleashed all that frustration from that Edgar match onto my opponents. It was just so satisfying, and we hit the goal for the day. And now for the rewards. From the trophy road, I got 100 power points and 100 coins from a rare star drop. And from the free pass, I received 100 credits, which goes towards Leon. And from the legendary star drop, I got this. Please give me something good. 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 It is El Primo skin, which is El Corazon. I made a lot of progress this week, but I'm still a long way from unlocking Leon. If you missed the last episode, you can check it out here. And remember to use code PAN in the Brawl Stars shop.